Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to uh, Mining Hardware YouTube channel. It's good to see you all back here. And uh, as you can see in the video title, we are doing some testing on an Unminer S9 uh, on the Hiwo S, where Hiwo S has released a uh, new firmware for Unminer S9. Let's see what it does and let's go to the more quiet environment. found a much more quieter place and uh, I want to show you guys something really useful something uh, high voice was recently released something useful for the guys who are doing ASIC mining who is mining Bitcoin who is mining with Unminer S9 um, so they have released recently a firmware um, for the um, on my S9 and I can tell you it's quite good and I just want to show you how to use it and how to connect it um, I think I have a video before um, how to connect the Unminer S9 to the Hive OS it's, it's quite easy I will show it again for whoever didn't see it it's quite easy so basically what you need to do you need to log into your miner um, through SSH so putty is a good tool or or maybe if you have some kind of similar tool uh, to log in into your miner so basically it looks like that you put in your IP address um, into here and just log in and the username will be root and uh, password will be admin on the default settings I cannot just log into the miners now because I'm in a different location um, so um, so um, next thing what you want to do is uh, um, you need to go uh, to I will paste this command line also into the uh, and the link for this into the description so basically what you need to do is um, uh, paste this um, piece of code into your console into the miner and replace also before you're pasting uh, you put in your farm hash you can find this at your uh, farm settings and there's your farm hash you just paste in this into uh, into your um, into your uh, console miner console so and this will take a couple of uh, minutes maybe not, not, not as much maybe a minute or two maximum and uh, your miner will show up here um, where is your miners uh, with some kind of username so you can also change the username if you like after then you just change the name here and just update the worker in that way uh, you know you can uh, use the username what you like um, so next thing what you want to do is you want to create a wallet um, I would suggest you to use uh, slush pull because the slush pool supports ASIC boost and this firmware has ASIC boost so you will save a lot of power when you're using an ASIC boost so you create a wallet and uh, you know that you won't put your Bitcoin address in the wallet you'll put if you're using slush pool you will put your uh, username uh, into the uh, wallet address and next you want to create a flight sheet um, you choose uh, so you choose a, what coin you want to mine, Bitcoin, so of course you choose wallet, then you choose what pool you want to use, and then just ASIC miner, and that way you create a flight sheet. Um, it's quite easy. And then if you want to apply the, the flight sheet, just go to uh, miner, open your miner, flight sheets, and click the rocket button, and it will automatically start using uh, this flight sheet. Because um, because you, you can, you, you know, it's... Uh, it's a different way uh, to connect your miner to mining pool as you know I previous, previously shown and it's default on the Bitmain when you need to log into the miner. This way you can remotely do it from a HiveOS account uh, and it will automatically change the settings in the miner and it will automatically mine to your uh, details provided. Um, so the next thing what you want to do you want to upgrade the firmware. So 
here in the right corner you need to switch and you need to choose firmware so the top one is the last one uh, which they have released so the last firmware is the top one and uh, you can uh, choose and just upload and it will take a few minutes and reboot the miner and you will have this firmware what this firmware unlocks they also have a backup also if you if you want you know this is the original bitmain uh firmware and also i remember like i was doing uh previously from for a review for dualiminer dualimizer uh firmware and there was a lot of people complaining in the comments they cannot recover the miner so what you what the, the easiest thing you know even if you didn't do a backup to backup your unminer s9 is to hold the IP report button tool on the miner uh, before you turn off. So you turn off, you're still holding the button, then you're turning back on, hold the button for another 10 seconds, and it, this will automatically um, recover your original factory firmware. Yeah, and also, you know, you just clean your uh, cache um, into the browser. So uh, control five, uh, if you still see um your previous firmware uh, like uh, uh, data what you call them. so yeah this is what you do and this thing what when you upgrade the firmware to high OS this will unlock your overclocking settings and they have this auto tuner configuration which is you know where you can just choose a setting what you want so for example I have here uh, 1800 watts and 17.7 terahash if ASIC boost support or not so it's if ASIC soup uh, boost doesn't support so it's 2000 watts so basically that's that's what this will do you know if you choose this you know it will set up ultimately it will go through all the frequencies on the miner from 600 to 820 and uh, find the best also true voltages from uh, 8.9 to 9.3 volts and it will find the best setting for every chip so it will all overclock every chip separately because usually you know that you, there's you know this thing you know in ASIC chips there's uh, sometimes there's issues some you can over overclock more some less uh, the same in GPUs um, so this is the same thing here um, it will go through all the chips and find the best setting for you to get the maximum performance which is which is really great um, so yeah this process takes uh, up to five hours depending on your chip quality and uh, depending on your chip quality yeah this takes up to five um, up to five hours so it, the miner will be rebooting every few minutes because you know when you're applying new setting um, to unminer s9 usually what it does it reboots the um, mining software and this way this process takes about maybe five minutes so so yeah this way it's a little bit uh, time consuming process you can do so also do it manually you know if you don't like auto if you you know professional <laughs> you do it manually uh, you just change you know what kind of frequencies you want to look into and uh, get the most optimal mining speed and hash rate um, Yeah, I think I think I think I said everything about this software. Yeah, and you can see the miner. Um, the miner is hashing at 17.6 by terahash, and I have selected this 17.7 terahash. So it's uh, this miner chips has really is been really good, and uh, it is updated to maximum performance. Um, these miners, by the way, they are you know as Bitmain sell them, you know 13 terahash and different are. 14, 14 and a half, um, but these are 13 terahash, so there's no difference, you know, what kind of uh, a miner to buy from Bitmain, usually buy the cheapest, you know, that's, a, I think, some kind of marketing trick, what they're doing, maybe better chip quality on the other miners or something like that. Um, yeah, next generation miners for half a terahash more, yeah, <laughs> sounds funny. Um, yeah, I think I said it, everything. Um, You can see the miners, um, they are still setting up some of them. Some of them doesn't reach as high, I think. This one is 14.8. 
overclocking. Yeah, this is a little bit. This is on a 16.4 terahertz other view, and you can see here the frequencies also. You know, this one has 736.8, 725.92. 7 uh, 713.31 and different uh, power usage from the each of the board um, so yeah and as usually high voice is providing us with the best mining tools uh, for uh, mining uh, very easy to set up very easy to monitor auto reboots auto overclocking um what could be better you know if you especially if you do have a, a large mining farm it's quite easy to set up um so yeah i hope you did enjoy this video um thanks for tuning in oh yeah I, on the next video i have also something um hive os has implemented um i think rx for, for amd cards uh the uh, memory tweaking tool which slightly increases the AMD car performance, so I'll probably do that next. Um, yeah, otherwise, I hope you did enjoy the video. Hit the like button if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the bell button to not miss the next video. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye, bye, bye. And Bitcoin going to the moon. Yes, 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 moon, moon, moon.